So it's down to business here. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Bernd Leno. I think his presence might make all the difference for this team. He's got lightning-fast reactions and uh, a coolness under pressure that allows him to make the big one-on-one -on -one saves. He's also very reliable under the high ball or when he's dealing with crosses, and I'd expect the whole defence to play... With Has a hit! He's got away with one there. Fred. Decent progress down the left. Cuts it out. Cavani. And he heaves it forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. Looks to play him in. That's uh, a minor communications breakdown. Obama Yang. And Obama Yang! Oh, I like the little feint he came up with to produce the effort. Very, very tidy. Shaw. Shaw drives it forward. Bruno Fernandes. And here's Cavani. Cavani! A real chance and a real let-off. Manchester United really have been deserted by their composure and allowed frustration to take over, and it's not a good sign. Arsenal have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Partey. Ball through needs to be good here. Now it's Obam. Tries a shot! The captain scores! Oh, that's very, very well played by the skipper. He was only too aware of the importance of a goal at this late stage in the first half. He knew it would affect the teams. All part of the thought process from someone in his position. Arsenal are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. So we have our breakthrough. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. And the half-time whistle goes. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half-time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. Um, if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. Well, the action has already resumed here. Manchester United need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. 
Over to the left. Fred. McTominay tries running with the ball at his feet. Juan Bissaka. Manchester United. Still this single goal behind. Fred. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, at the moment, their chances of getting back in contention look slim. They're not exerting enough pressure. Simple as that. Tierney. Tierney switches it towards the other side. And it's been taken straight back. Hits one! Oh, the ball's come loose. In for the follow-up. Good effort, first time. Listen, I'm not sure he had to go at that first time, but at least he showed some good confidence. Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? Rashford, it's broken loose! Manchester United are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. And Aubameyang! He has done it! Two to the good, they have breathing space. Ah, oh, the invitation was received with such a clever run, and he had that defence in, in utter confusion. So that's two now without reply. Bruno Fernandes. Well, to be honest, I think they're all showing no substance. Where's the final product? El Neni. Holding. Forward it goes. Bruno Fernandes, and here's Rashford, and here's Cavani, Cavani! The whistle has gone, and it is all over. Manchester United puffed and puffed, but in the end, no joy. That's the game, the result is what matters, and this result is cruel.